All right guys, so I'm super excited today. I'm gonna do an awesome unboxing for you. I got this amazing big box and I know you guys all wanna know what's inside. So, earlier this year, Clairol Professional did a brand new line of color called True Color. So Clairol True Color is a little bit different than what Clairol's normally used to um, doing. They usually have natural looking color and they're beautiful shades, they're very natural looking. So True Color is the same. It's beautiful color, but it's a little bit more intense. It's catered towards those that maybe want to go a little bit more intense, but they don't want to go like over the top. And they have a brand new line of three color families, red, brown, and blonde three different color families with all kinds of shades inside, warm and cool tone, and you can intermix them, you can do um, various shades. It's all up to you, whether you're a professional or a consumer, to create your amazing color at home. So I went on Instagram and Clairol Professional was giving out uh, free samples of the color, so I messaged them and I missed it by a day, but they were very sweet because this company really does care about you. They um, were nice enough to work with me and they said, oh, we'll send you one anyway, and I'm like, oh, thank you. So I was torn between which shade to choose and I said, you know what, I'm gonna go for maybe a little bit more of a warmer red. I decided to go for the 6RR and that is what's inside this amazing box. I had gotten, they give you the safety data sheets, which I really like because whether you're professional or not, you have a right to know what's in your product. And I got, open this. They packed it really nice too, they took care. 30 volume developer, because my hair is darker and it's a little bit more resistant to color. And in here, they were nice enough to pack two tubes of 6RR, which is Crimson Flame, or Crimson, oh, sorry, Crimson Flare. Not Crimson Flame. Huh. I could probably invent that shade though. So they give you two tubes of color, your developer and your instructions are all online, which is really great. So there's no having to worry about, oh, do I have insert? Do I not have it? It's all online. Everything you need is right there. And because of the two tubes of color, I can do one for my retouch. And then the rest, I'm gonna get the separate um, developer or um, contact them and they'll walk me through it and I'll refresh the color. But 6RR, it looks like a beautiful red shade. That's a very nice, deep, um, intense red. And one of the things I love about Clairol myself is the result is there. So when I was doing my color um, before at home, um, way before I was licensed, I was always nervous, oh, what if it's too dark? What if it's too light and, and all that? Well, Clairol had a demi color and they still do the natural instincts. I was using that and I was using um, the stuff at Sally and I was satisfied each and every time. It was very natural. I still got that nice pop of red, but it wasn't over the top. Um, and now I want like everything bright, so I'm really happy that they decided to do True Color, which has a little bit more of like a brighter shade, and it's catering to kind of that generation that is, um, you know, they're growing up, they maybe have a few grays, or they just want to experiment with color at home without having to pay an arm and a leg. So they did a really good job at shipping it, they take care in it, and I really appreciate that, because I've had other samples before that were a total wreck. Everything was perfectly um, packaged and shipped in a great way. So I'm gonna go show you guys now, as a professional, how to color your own hair at home with professional results. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so I went over my um, footage and I know I was gonna do a video on the Clairol True Color, which is a brand new line of color they just released. And I thought to myself, well, you guys kind of already know um, how to apply color. I've done it in a lot of other videos. So I'm like, you know what? Because it's a pain in the butt to set up and I'm kind of short with space right now, I said, I'll do the color and I'll talk about it after my own experience. I thought that would have been a lot better. So the Clairol um, True Color, it comes in a tube like this. Clairol was very nice uh, to send me two full tubes of this and a bottle of developer, which I will get and I'll show you guys. Give me one sec. All right, so I am back. The bottle of developer comes in Clairol's True Color. Um, cream developer 30 volume for extra lift. There is a 40 volume, but I thought the 40 volume would be very excessive. And I actually had the colorist that I was talking with formulate for me. And it was kind of nice because even though I am a professional, I know how to do this. I'm like, you know what? I trust Clairol. Clairol knows it's best. So I gave him the whole scenario. I told him my natural base of a level three. And actually I think my base is a little bit lighter now. It's my hair is weird. It changes color. Um, <laughs> But I said, you know, I really like the 6RR. I was kind of um, in between 6RR and 6RV, which is Burgundy Hills. And I kind of would be curious to mix the two. Um, this is a perfect fall color. They gave me two tubes of this, so I had full saturation. I used every single ounce of my hair. 
Starting with the regrowth, I did the regrowth and then I painted on everything for the last 15 minutes. And I love the um, bottle. This is enough for um, 16 applications, so um, you do the math and that's about six tubes of color you'll get through with this. And I've used two of them. I like the tube design, it looks really cool. They use a system like called the pillars. There's red pillar, the brown pillar, and the blonde pillar. And it has um, warm and cool. And the true color shows you um, a little synopsis of what the shade looks like. And it says that you will get up to 100% gray coverage. So the fact that this can cover gray also tells me that there's a little bit of brown in here, a little bit of neutral. Because normally if you're trying to cover 100% white hair with a 6RR, you have to be very careful how you formulate with other color lines because you can end up getting a nice, scary flamingo pink. Um, this, I don't think will do that. If you look up close, it almost, I know the root kind of got a little hot there, but it should go away in one or two shampoos. It's almost like a nice, um, vibrant reddish brown. There is that brown factor in there, but I kind of like it because it prevents it from being too like, oh my God, in your face red. And it has um, three different aspects of this. You get color, seal, and prime all in one, so it will condition the hair as it colors. It also has a really cool factor with, um, if you wanna do a demi color or a glazing service, get the 6% or the six volume, six volume I think it is, and if you look on their Instagram, Clairol Professional, they show you how to mix it because you can do a um, flat tone, which is more deposit. And then if you double the developer of 6%, it gives you a nice glossing shine. So if you want to refresh this color, you can redo your regrowth as it comes in and then gloss over it to um, protect everything and don't have to worry about overprocessing. Um, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the color. The result is really nice and amazing. You guys can see. Um, the sides took really well too, but it gives you a very nice um, shine, shiny hair. There is no damage at all. My hair feels like I glazed it, which I was pretty impressed with. I was nervous because this stuff did smell. Let me see if I can fix the camera. Sorry about that. This did smell strongly of ammonia when I was mixing this, um, but that might be for the great coverage part of it. Um, you only apply this for 30 minutes, so I followed the exact instructions and I got this much lift in 30 minutes. Um, you can probably do the full 45 um, if you want full gray coverage or if it didn't work for you, but always follow the manufacturer's instructions. They give you the instructions inside. You can apply this to dry or damp hair. You are supposed to shampoo, so after you rinse, make sure you shampoo, get all the color or peroxide residues off your scalp and condition. It's a one-to-one -one, uh, mixing ratio. So it's a pretty straightforward to use color that I really like. I like how true color came out and the whole idea is it's gonna be uh, more intense than the um, regular Clairol Soyplex, but not as intense as a Clairol Flare. So it's kind of like a happy medium of really nice, vibrant color that's still natural looking and it's geared towards those who are in their 20s, 30s, who might be coloring their hair or even older if you wanna cover some gray. So I like how Clairol is always being innovative and thinking what's next and what's next. And I know Clairol for being always a little bit natural as opposed to other color brands that might be a little too in your face or a little too vibrant. You can kind of push the envelope a little with Clairol. So I am very satisfied with this. I do recommend it. Should you have any um, trouble or questions regarding uh, the Clairol color, you can contact them through Clairol Professional or talk to one of their colorists. They are super helpful. They will help you formulate and figure out what is best for you. So I'm gonna give you guys one last look at this. And I think I hit all the points on this. It's very easy to apply. I like how it's a very thick consistency. And when you're applying it, it has a lot of direct dye in there, so it's pretty cool. You'll mix it and go, oh my gosh, it's like um, orangey or red. You'll apply it. The color is actually nothing like what it looks in the bowl, so don't be scared of that. I am incredibly impressed and happy with um, Clairol. So if you have any questions, make sure you ask me down below. I'll try to answer them as best I can. Oh, and before I end this, I do want to show you guys. This is why it's important to talk to a colorist if you don't know what you're doing. And I mean like a Clairol professional colorist, because if you are unsure, your color can come out very unexpected. So I actually took the liberty of doing swatches. I have um, generic swatches from levels um, three, five, 10, and um, white. So you guys can see what this color will look like oh, on various levels. So I mixed um, the 30 volume, processed it for 30 minutes, rinsed and shampooed, and I'm trying to line this up. Always makes this a pain in the butt. There we go. 
And if you guys wanted to see what my color looked like before, make sure you check out my color remover video where I just reviewed a color removing product to prime my hair, that way it was ready for the service. If you guys can see this, this right here is the darker shade of um, almost black with some gray in it at the end. This is a natural red level five. This is a blonde and this is a white, almost like a platinum. So if you guys see this, you wanna understand what you're dealing with. Your color will not always reflect the swatch in the store or what my hair looks like. If your hair is darker or lighter than mine or has a history to it of being processed, it may come out very different. And that is one tube of color processed all the same, treated the same, just natural, diff different natural starting levels. And that is a variety you will get. You guys can, let me see if we can get closer for you guys. So if you look here, the level one, it's almost close to what I got up here, uh, but even a little bit more vibrant due to the gray in it. The natural red, it came out the nicest in my opinion, because it had the natural red to begin with and you're adding more. That is a little bit too vibrant compared to what mine came out with. The natural platinum, the white white, is super vibrant, it's almost an orange, and that can be a shock to someone. So I actually wonder on um, the claim of covering 100% gray, you might wanna make sure you double check that with the colorist because you might have to add some neutral in there. And this right here is a um, blonde. Oddly enough, the blonde that had some yellow in it is the one that got like the darkest. I don't know why that is but it just puts things in perspective that you always wanna be cautious about how you're coloring or when you're coloring so you don't get a color fail. So I'm pretty impressed with this. I will definitely be purchasing this again in the future. I do wanna try the Burgundy Hills as a glaze and I might even take the glaze and put it over there to see what it looks like. And I do hope that in the future they come out with different shades, different red shades, maybe like a, a 5RV or a 5EV, like a violet. Something like that would be very cool or violet red even. That would be a unique shade to add to the True Color collection. So Clairol True Color, a great color for getting natural looking results with some shine and vibrancy while at the same time keeping your hair's condition. It's a great color, a great product, and if you guys have used Clairol True Color, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys soon with more videos.